look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. your hands and tell them with all your hearts to thee. Honor. To thee we ascribe power. One of these days, soon, sooner than you know and think, you're going to stand on that sea of glass in glory, totally amazed and awed that you're there. You know, look across and see the saints of the Old Testament. There's David and there's Isaiah and Jeremiah. And way over there, someone you met in your lifetime, all standing dressed in white. And as you stand there, the brightness of his glory outshines them all. The beauty of the Lord beyond description. Saul of Tarsus, who became Paul the Apostle, saw that brightness. And only a shadow of it revealed to him on that road to Damascus, blinded him. And he said, O King Agrippa, it was brighter than the sun. And I think one of these days, God gives brand new eyes to see his glory. I don't think these eyes will handle it. I really don't think so. I don't think this body of flesh will be able to stand there and live. No man can see his face and live, the scripture says. And they are going to stand in that heavenly body and see his glory. Unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us before the throne with joy, blameless. To the only wise God and only he can do it. Be glory and honor. Lift your hands to him now. 
to thee who has cry of glory. To thee. Love him. now as we're standing in the holy presence of the Son of God. Amen. Lift your hands and receive your healing. A skin condition has just been healed. A back injury healed. Someone with an injury in your left leg and the knee healed. You've been to the doctor. In fact, they're talking about knee surgery. You will not need it. Cancer has been healed. I rebuke that cancer in the name of Jesus. Skin cancer. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Fibromyalgia just been healed to my right. Lift your hands and receive that blessed touch from heaven. This gentleman had a torn meniscus, the left leg, no cartilage. He was in tremendous pain, couldn't walk. He can walk, the pain is gone completely. Right, Gently rise and be healed. There's such a heavy anointing. Just lift your hands and receive it. 
Let faith. Don't touch him. That anointing is so lovely. You preachers, you gotta, you have to experience it just one more time. Touch the preachers, Lord. He will touch you. I hear angels singing praises. You see, it's not about the healing. It's about the anointing. Touch. Brian, you know what he's experiencing here? He is, he is experiencing glory, this man. <laughs> <laughs> Lift your hands so God can fill you like this. I love it when I see it because it's so real. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming on my son it's coming on Tim lift your hands ask God to touch you with that Come on. stiffness for 10 years. Tonight she came in in pain. The pain is completely That's gone. The presence of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> pain is gone, thank God. It's another one. Don't you just love it when the Holy Spirit does this? Can you give him a loud, please, praise, applause? I won't touch them for now. This lady only speaks Spanish, but I understood what she said. She had arthritis, terrible arthritis in her hands. The pain completely left her tonight. She's praising the Lord for her healing. Si, sí, senor. I love it. Brian or Jim, one of you, talk to me, this please. This gentleman had a leg, a knee injury, excuse me, and he's knows the Lord has touched him. He's moving, he's walking, he's bending. The pain is completely gone. You got a brace? Pardon? When I come to the service, I got a lot of pain. Now it's disappearing. I can do it. Now I can do it. Reverently say, praise the Lord. Well, take that brace off, brother. You don't need it. Look at that thing around his. It goes way up there. Well, don't worry about it. Don't tear your pants off either. See if you can take that thing off of there. Pardon? Suppose the doctor needs to do surgery here. But now? They're supposed to do surgery. Well, the Lord has done it for you. You, you, you don't need it. You don't need it, brother. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Help him, just help all three of them. You feel good? What what do you feel? What do you feel on you right now? Uh, wine. What did he say? Wine? Pick him up. I want to see what he said. What did you say? Um. <laughs> he, feels, he feels like he's been drinking. Ooh, he's laughing now. He's laughing. <laughs> What's going on tonight here? Pick him up. Maybe he needs a little extra wine. Is your wife here? <laughs> no, she's in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Why you laugh? <laughs> Why? New, new wine. I feel new wine. You feel it? Yeah. I need to dry. I don't know if I need to dry. <laughs> I need to drive. He's not, he's not sure if he can. Can we please give the Lord a mighty hand of praise? Please. Our wonderful Lord Jesus, in John chapter 5, we read, came to the pool of Bethesda in Jerusalem, looked at the crowd, and he saw a man there who'd been there a long time waiting for his miracle. And the Lord comes and asks this man a question. He sought him out and said, do you want a miracle? Will thou be made whole? Are you ready to receive your miracle today? And the man explained how he had tried to receive his healing and could not. And Jesus looks at this man and asks the question he's asking you today. Will you be made whole? Will you allow God to heal you today? Will you accept your healing? Will you accept that loving gift from the Lord himself? Now, the man that the Lord asked that question to did not even know who, who the Lord was. He did not know even the name Jesus. Had never heard the name of the Lord. Yet the Lord would choose him. And the Lord would say to a man who did not know who he was, do you want a miracle? Now, if God the Son would come to someone who did not know him, did not know the power in his name, did not know he is the miracle working God, would he not come to his own children, to his own and say, do you want a miracle? Now, you know what happened? The man was healed. He was healed immediately as the Lord said, Pick up your bed and walk. He's offering you, as he offered that man, a miracle. I think this is a mighty question. Do you want your healing? He's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, he's the same. He doesn't change. He's still offering us that free gift. Come on, let's believe. Let's also receive. So you stretch your hands towards me. I'm stretching my hands towards you. And let's ask the Lord Jesus himself to heal you today, to give you the miracle you need in your body, in your life, in your home, with your family. Come on, let's, let's agree together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come with that one watching today on the program. And Lord, I believe with each one of them. I believe with that one right there watching. That that miracle will come today. 
your power will touch them today. That amazing miracle will begin now in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so I take my place and I step into my office and I command that disease to go, that sickness to go in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that bondage to be gone, that problem in their life and family to be gone, that problem in their finance to be gone and cancel. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Grant that request today in your holy and mighty name. Amen and amen. Now you receive that healing. Arthritis in the right hip has just been healed just like that a second ago. A skin condition, a very bad skin condition, especially in the back. It's a lady. I see bleeding in your back area. God is healing you now, my dear. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. You feel God's blessed healing touch on your body. Someone with severe, severe sinuses. You've been on medication. Nothing has helped you. But the Lord is healing you now. And I see someone who just was in a car accident. You're in terrible pain. And the Lord has, has, has already touched you. All I want you to do right now is just stand up and walk around. You'll find the pain is gone from, your, from your, your body. And a young man who's just had a heart problem, he actually had a heart attack. Father, in Jesus' name, let the healing come. Let the miracle begin. Let the restoration in his body take place in Jesus' mighty name. Albert is your name. Albert, you expect now that healing in your body. And, and swelling around the right eye has just been healed also. Receive it now in the sweet, wonderful, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, the, the greatest miracle is salvation. So would you pray this with me? Just say, Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive my sins, Lord. Save my soul, Lord. Come into my heart today and wash me with your blood. I give you my life forever. Amen. He loves you. He loves you dearly. Keep watching. This is your day. and Tell your friends and expect your miracle. It truly is on the way. This is your day for a miracle. Dear partners, I am so happy to have this opportunity to tell you something that has been in my spirit all day today on This Is Your Day. You know, as I listen to Pastor Benny teach and preach the Word of God with such fire and anointing and power, I'm often reminded of the simplicity of the gospel. You know, when you think of the Word of God, scriptures that talk about the simplicity of the gospel are so important. I mean, Luke chapter 18 and verse 17, that has to be one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible where Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. You know, anytime I'm going to be on a program with children, I always say, please let me go before them because once the children are on stage, nobody's listening to anything else. People pay attention to children. Because of their simple love, because of how passionate they can be. Think through the word of God how many times Jesus talked about children. Suffer the little children to come to me. Jesus said, except we become like little children, we couldn't even enter the kingdom of heaven. Why, he even used a child one day with fish and loaves of bread to feed a multitude. Jesus, we sang it as kids growing up, loves the little children of the world. Well, you know, as a dad of four and as a grandfather of nine grandchildren now, my territory is expanding and enlarging. Recently, I had a birthday and one of my little granddaughters, she was standing off to the side while everybody was bringing me their gifts and, you know, all of the family singing and birthday cake and all of that celebration. And at the very end, I noticed she seemed like she was trying to get through everybody and get to me. And when she got to me, she held up a little piece of paper 
the most simple drawing, misspelled words, but with hearts all over them, telling me how much she loved me and happy birthday. Her eyes were just wide with excitement, waiting for my reaction. Now here I had received other gifts, but she said these words to me, it's the best one, isn't it? And I said, yes, it is. It's the best gift anybody could ever give me. Do you know that I believe that's the way our father is? When you sow into the kingdom of God and you have that passion and you have that faith and you have that love, just like a little child that you're presenting it to your father. You're giving it to your daddy. You're telling him how much you love him. I believe the same passion that I expressed to my little granddaughter the other day. This is the best. The joy that filled her heart when I acknowledged that. Friends, I want you to know uh, that there is a way. There is a way to please God. And it is when we obey his word. And we become just like a little child that comes before him. You don't have to impress God with fancy words. Or you don't have to impress God being out of your own character. But just humbly and simply come before God. And when you bring your gift Right here to This Is Your Day, to Pastor Benny Hinn, so the gospel can go all around the world. You know, I've been blessed to travel with Pastor Benny for five or six years now and see the gospel taken around the world, miracle signs and wonders. And I believe that our Father just is looking down from heaven as you and I say, Pastor Benny, we're sowing seed into the kingdom of God. Every gift that you give, I want you just to picture your Father saying, that's the best of all. Whatever today God is placing on your heart to sow into the kingdom of God, and right here at This Is Your Day, I know for sure Pastor Benny does not take it for granted, never one time, but he's constantly positioning and petitioning God with your prayer request and your needs. All of us here, we love you so much, and when you present that gift today to This Is Your Day, to Pastor Benny Hinn and the ministry that's going around the world, setting people free, sharing the simple gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, your father, your father in heaven is looking over and with beaming eyes, he's looking at you as that childlike faith when you present it to God. I want to encourage you today, pick up your phone and call right now. If we ever needed you to take the gospel with us around the world, if we ever needed your support, we need you right now. Please pick up the phone, call the number that's on your screen and whatever you present to dear Jesus today, I know his heart is going to be pleased with your gift. On behalf of Pastor Benny and all of us here at Benny Hinn Ministries, we truly love you with the love of Jesus. We declare that your greatest days are in front of you, and we thank you today for that childlike faith that you present to Jesus. Be blessed.